What is happening guys? Welcome back to another game of Commander Attacks. Tonight we have something real special for you. We've been waiting a little bit on it. It's our 13th episode and we thought it would be more fitting to put our Halloween episode out on Friday the 13th, November 13th. It's going to be a very spooky episode, very spooky day. Stay lucky guys. Yep, stay lucky because it's you're gonna need you're gonna need it. We're gonna need it in this episode. Tonight I'm gonna be playing the Reaper King. I'm gonna be playing Franco Mob Boss. Quinn's gonna be playing God Eternal Oketra. We've got Jose playing Edgar Markov. So get excited, stay tuned, and we'll see you in the episode. All right, all right. Welcome back, guys, to another game of Commander Tax. Um, tonight is our special Halloween episode. We are brought to you by... A pumpkin. <laughs> Jimmy, well, I, I don't know. Jimmy, where are you? Wait, I don't know what something? to call it. It used to have a tag on it with a name, and now it doesn't. <laughs> so, just a pumpkin. It's just a, a woven, it's a, pumpkin. It's a woven it's a, pumpkin. Yeah, it's a weave. So. so. All right, well, thank you. Let's kick it off. Let's see who goes first. Let's roll that dice. Um, we got Jose, Jimmy, Quinn, and I, Corey. So, looks like Jose's, Jose's got the option. First. All righty. Let's kick her off, guys. Okay. That opportunity right away. Dropping a mountain. Drop a card. Oh, yeah. Right Pardon me. And pass. Play mountain and pass. Ooh. Give her a ruse. <laughs> Drew that off the rip and I'll pass the turn. Alright, I'll draw. I'll play a yeah, uh, mountain one. and pass the turn. So you're mountain passing. Mountain pass. Drawing my card here. Okay. Awesome. Playing a swamp. Not passing. Oh. Oh. He's got to play. He's got to play. Oh. Throwing me off. Arcane signet. Ah, oh, he's got a mana rock. Ah, Kill him. Kill him. He does no, mana rock. No, 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 no. Tapping this. Legion's landing. Oh. Okay. All right. Turn two. He's spooking us up. And then I pass. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna play mountain. Tap both for goblin pile driver. The one two protection from blue. Whenever it attacks, it gets plus two plus zero so until end of turn for each other attacking goblin. Quinn's turn. All right. Draw. Oh my goodness. I've been just drawn into all the one drops. Cast okay, Souls Attendant whenever another creature enters the battlefield, I may gain one life. Nice. And then I'll just say go. Alright, I'll draw. I'll play a Swamp, and I'll pay two to cast Pillar of Origins, naming Scarecrows. I can tap it to add one mana of any color to cast a Chris Scarecrow. Too bad Scarecrows are colorless. <laughs> here you go. Okay. Another mountain here. Okay, so... Tapping these two. Swamp, keeping this tap for white. Uh, I'm going to play Soren, Lord of Innistrad. I'm actually going to go ahead and minus two him right away so that all my creatures get plus one, plus zero. Oh. So the, this is now a 2 0 oh with a lifelink, and I will pass. Is that an emblem? Yes, it is an emblem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm going to play a. Uh... A mountain. We'll tap three for treasure nabber. So whenever an opponent taps an artifact for mana, gain control of that artifact until end of turn. Until end, the end of my next turn. Oh, wow. Just, I, will, I will gain a life. Oh, That's Jimmy. evil, Jimmy. That's Ooh, really evil. You are going to get that arcane signet and a scarecrow pillar of origins that That's I can't spooky. use. <laughs> so. I'll tap two, cast a blind obedience. Uh, extort artifacts and creatures my opponent's control into the battlefield. So if I tap it though, I still get my mana, but then you gain it. Yeah. Until... Yep. So he'll basically get a free turn with it. Um, pass yeah. turn. But then I get it back on my turn, right? At, no, you get it back at the, at my end step. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, oh, I'm kind of. We shall see. 
stuck here, but I'll get something out there. I'll cast a Pili Pala. It's a 1 1 flying. I can pay 2 to untap it to add 1 mana of. Oh, to your God, mana. he's in control all your scarecrows. It's, well, that's but, an untap symbol, though. But it, I'm not but it enters it. tap with blind oh. obedience, though. Yeah. So technically, he wouldn't gain control of it because I have to tap it for mana, but I'm know. untapping it for mana. That's oh, true. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, here you go. <laughs> okay. John a card. Awesome. Playing a swamp. I'm going to go ahead and give him a plus one. I'm going to throw down another. Okay, so I got two of them now. I'm going to play Phyrexian Arena. Mm -hmm. Awesome. At the beginning of my upkeep, I draw a card and I lose life. And, uh, who? Hmm. Uh, when you create that token, it does enter. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. True. And I do so. Oh, one one I'm good. And then, uh, Corey, I'm actually going to switch you for two with lifelink. Okay. Pass. And then, so what do these mean? Uh, this is a 2-1. Oh. Power and toughness. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You want to give me your arcane signal? No. Um, we will do three for Squee. Squee Goblin Nabob. 1-1 one, one at the beginning of my upkeep. I may return Squee from my graveyard to my hand. I'll pass it. Alright. I'll tap. Actually, Crate messed off one of these out for a oh. Yeah. Planes. This is one's white, one's white. Tap three. Cast a sky scanner. I'll gain a life. And then when it ETBs, I'll draw a card. And then I'll pass the turn to Corey. Alright. I'll untap. I'll draw. Play a mountain. I'll just pass the turn. Okay. I'm tapping quick here. I'm gonna go ahead and plus one Sarkhan, or yeah, Sorin. I mean, I was gonna say Sarkhan, but he's not in this deck. You're not playing Dragon. No, I'm not playing Dragon. Uh, one of them is tapped. I'm keeping my gonna drop Phyrexian Tower. I'm gonna play Drana, Liberator of mm -hmm. Malakar. So, first strike and flying, and whenever um, she attacks and deals combat damage, all other attacking creatures get plus one, plus one. Well, not other, but all. So, in that case, I'm going to swing... Ooh, Corey, I'm going to swing four with lifelink at you. Oh, I also do. Actually. One, two, three. Okay, pass. Play mountain. And we will... We'll just do it to it, I guess. Jam. Jam Karenka? Yeah, we'll throw Karenka. Don't tell me you have a Perforos in your hand. I wish, dude. <laughs> that would be If you could see what nuts. I'm top decking, though, you would not be scared. <laughs> yeah, does it's it, about me. Does it start with a mountain? And it ends with a mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tap three and cast Banish Marshall. Other creature that can show plus one, plus one. I'll gain a life. And I will, I will bop Soren for two in the air. And I'll pass the turn. All right. Uh, looks like I'm already on tap, so I can't really uh, worry about that. Um, that really is a bummer too. I'm gonna just play Birthing Barrows. So I can pay four to create a two-two colorless shapeshifter token with Changeling, and I will pass the turn. Uh, what? That's not a creature. No. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. But artifacts do enter the battlefield tap, though. Okay. That's blind obedience. Yeah. I think it's not something to untap next turn. Can you lose one life? <laughs> yeah. Draw a card. Draw a card. Okay, so. Dropping a swamp. Ooh, do I want to do that? Um, okay. Blade of the Blood Chief. You oh, guys no. are very familiar with this card. Yep, there, oh, there it comes. Man. Ender's Tap, though. Yeah. Oh, the artifact? Yeah. yeah it, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was about to say, it, uh, I'm not making sense of <laughs> it. You gotcha. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a plus two, add another one. One of them is tapped, obviously. Okay. Um, I got to do it, Jimmy. I'm going to go ahead and tap one. Keep that oh, sucker for I a little you... bit. Yep. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you really got to do it. Fuck Krenko. <laughs> Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. I'm going to go ahead and give him a plus two, essentially. Um, he's got the plus two and the minus X. 
So he's now six. Um, I'm going to deal one damage to. Yeah, I'm gonna kill that Corey. Uh, you gotta get some mana, man. Yeah, I'm kind of SOL right now. Okay, so I am going to actually swing three, two ones, if you know what I mean. So total six with life on catch you, Jim. Three, two ones. Mm -hmm. Three, two, oh, one. Oh, 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 Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Um, I'll just, I'll just take the six. And then I pass. Untap. Oh wait, this also. Um, upkeep, I'm gonna return Squeed in my hand. Draw. So this is uh, Legion Landing transformed to the first fort. Whatever. Danto the first fort. Danto the first fort. That's where you pay three to create a vampire. Well, yeah, three, three or it. is yeah. it four? I think it's three. Okay. Yep. Okay. Three for Squeed! He's back. He is back. Captain. I gotta get rid of that blind beam. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> pay four. Got a braid in there? Panarmonica. Panarmonica. Oh boy. It's. It... <laughs> Thanks, man. So, uh, I played Panarmonica. I'm gonna tap Cranko to get one, two, three, four. Goblin Center and tap. You're welcome, Quinn. Thanks, Jimmy. You're the I best. In, I think it's your best interest to have me keep Cranko alive. I mean, um, why would I destroy it? I'm gonna pass oh, and wait. give this back to you. Okay. I totally forgot when I killed your guy, this thing gets plus one, plus one. Okay. From the, this sucker. Oh wait, no, it's two. Because it's, it's a vampire. Oh, yeah. God, I love this artifact. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just pass the turn. Oh dear. The only person having a good time here is Jose. <laughs> I mean, I'm gaining life, so. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. got that going for me. Prepping for the, for the end game. Forest. I'm missing at least one more land. I need either blue or white, and I can cast Reaper King. Ooh. But I can't really do anything. Pay three, it enters tapped. Scuttle Mutt. Scuttle Mutt. Scuttle Mutt. Yeah, I can tap it to add one mana of any color, and I can also ta tap it to target creature becomes a color of choice until end of turn. Mm. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and take a life right there, drop a card, then draw my other card at my upkeep. Untap. Straight off the bat, I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy another plus two, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and kill your Pilapala. Jeez. Oh, and then this thing gets an extra two counters there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plus one him. Get another guy. One enters tapped, obviously. Okay. Tap for white. One, one. Etchings of the Chosen. Um, when it enters the battlefield, I get to choose a creature type. Vampires. Um, all my vampires get plus one, plus one. And then I can pay one, sacrifice a uh, vampire, and then target creature I control gains indestructible until the end of turn. That's a pretty good one. I thought that was a different card at first. So these are all three twos now. Mm hmm. Um, Corey, I'm swinging at you for 12. Why? Like, Why? Why because... not distribute the wealth or distribute the hey. agony? Hey. Be Dude. Because I know. I'm at 57. I'm at 34. That's what you get for coming in late. He needs, he needs something else in there. Yeah, I do. I want my life. Oh, my God. I'm not even doing anything. Okay. So. Tapping these two. Tapping this guy. Mm. Yeah. Tap for red. Okay. Olivia Valderine. Um, basically, I can pay one red and one colorless, deal one damage. That creature then becomes a vampire and put a 1 1 counter. And then I pay two oh, black no. and three colorless, and I can gain control of any vampire. Oh no. And, uh, okay, so that becomes a black vampire, so. You get another life, Quinn, because it's mm -hmm. a vampire spell. And I will now pass. Untap. Go play a mountain. For lack of anything better to do. Franco. Gonna get eight more goblins. Cool. I believe. Four, four, eight. I'm gonna tap this for one red. Um, 
and then pass my turn. <laughs> Tap two and cast Imposing Sovereign. So creatures enter the battlefield doubly tapped. <laughs> so they enter upside down. Yeah, so they basically enter upside down. Exerted. Exerted. Remember that? Alright, go ahead, Corey. Alright, untap. Whatever. I'll cast uh, my guy, Reaper King. And then I'll pass. Okay. I don't like how this is going to go out. If you uh, start attacking Corey. Dude, I haven't done this anything this entire game. Here. I'm going to go ahead and give this guy a plus one. Mm. Get another one of these guys. He in a life, I believe. Tap a red. Tap a white. I'm going to deal one damage to that guy. All right. Yep, the banisher. Or vanishing marshal. Vanish marshal. Yeah, gotcha. that guy. Two. Sack one of these guys. Add an extra two black. One red for the heck of it. Thank you. And I am going to gain control of that well, guy. Well, in response to you tapping all your mana, I'm going to cast a white main lion and return it to my hand. Slick. Slick. Can you I gain one life? I gain one life. <laughs> you gain one life, yeah. That very was slick. slick. That was very slick. Hmm. Well, you done got me. I will pass. Hey, I'm tap. Draw. Tap Franco. Four. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen more. Tap Scuttlemutt. For one red. Tap Arcane Signet. For one red. Um, and then you pass the turn. You get this back tapped. This will be untapped. Tap four. Cast Elspeth, Sun's Nemesis. Minus one, uh, up to two target creatures you control. Each get up to plus two, plus one. Minus two, create two one one white human soldier tokens. And three, I gain five life. And then I will pass the turn. Untap. Draw. I will pay two. Thanks, <laughs> bud. Uh, jousting dummy. Um. Yeah, you're talking about sharing the wealth, right? Yeah, yeah so well, little gibsy, gibsy backsies. Olivia Valderin. Um, in response, I'm actually going to go ahead and tap that sack one of these guys and make her miserable. Uh, Jesus Christ. All right, here you go. So, I think what I'm going to do, minus two. And get another emblem. Get another emblem, so all these guys are extra power. Plus two this guy here, and Corey, I'm going to destroy... Your jousting dummy. Okay, in response, I'm going to pay three white and black. And I'm going to Eerie Interlude. They're flickered. Yeah, they're flickered. Right now they're out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. In that case, um, Corey, I'm going to swing at you for... Seriously, I'm at 22. Yeah, but you're destroying my stuff, so I don't like Jose. that. So that's 25. Yeah, I'm just gonna swing at you with my tokens. Um, Quinn, how much flying do you have? I have one flyer. Okay, I'm gonna swing at you for six, six eight, 14 in the air. 14. 14. Yeah, I'll just take that. How much did you swing at me? Uh, I swing at you for game. Dude, and fuck. Then, uh, then pass. Twenty-eight. Oh, these are all tapped, by the way. So, Quinn, feel free to. Did you tap your arcane signet? No. no. Oh, oh, it is tapped. Oh, I didn't. No, I, was tap with it. I didn't use anything for mana. Jimmy just rips a purfrose off his hop, maybe. Well, purfrose. 
but something that will win you the game. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I mean, me and Jimmy got a little synergy going here. Yeah, I'm purple coin off shit. Sure, 64 downloads. Alright. I think we have a couple minutes. I brought a couple minutes real quick. I don't know. Is this a burn at the stake? Or <laughs> it's a burn at the stake? I called it. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You need a calculator for that, that's for sure. So what is burn at the stake? Oh, you'll see. One, two. One, two, three. So, Jose, unless you have anything to do about it. Burn at the stake as an additional cost. I'm going to tap any number of untapped creatures I control. Boros Charm, each creature deals one damage to its controller. Oof. I have seven. Well played. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I swear to God. You counter it, I man. still I still have to pay the cost though, so, Mono so I'm still gonna tap tough. the um I think it was twenty six. What color is that? I think it's twenty six. We're gonna say 26. Red black. Red black? Yeah, it's the Rakdos charm. I don't know if this will work or not. But I'm gonna exile rest in peace and cast Revenant Mantra. All creatures gain protection of the color of my choice until end of turn. All creatures? Oh, so yeah. it would be protection, yeah, from black or red, and that. But yeah. then, if you did black, then that counters that. But then, if you did red, then it would counter both Jimmy's and. I'm gonna do right. black. Well played. well played. Well played. Well played. So yeah, I believe you're that that dead. Yeah. Well. You know. <laughs> oh, that took a turn. Took a monster oh, turn. Oh thank God, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesus. Good game, Corey. Um, I see. I told I you. I couldn't done anything. It. Like I didn't do anything the right, entire that's game. The thing, that's dude. that's I, my I know frustration. The, I know right the now. potential of that deck, and I was getting scared of it right off the bat. Well, that's but the whole point. I Scarecrows are supposed to. to scare you. But I had <laughs> a I had a way to take care of both of you. <laughs> Jimmy, I may or may not have just given you first place. I don't know about that. 106, 106 life. That that's was a lot. that was a good play, Shram. I'm impressed. That was no. That was really slick. Honestly, I did not expect that. You're telling me. Holy shit. Because, like, I knew you had all that mana open, but there was nothing else I could do about it. So I was like, I gotta either try it now or I'm dead next turn anyway. So. <laughs> Boundless Marshall gain a life. Yeah. This is this vampire deck is definitely one to force the wrecking. Last turn. There's a lot of goblins. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I, mu I might have just given Jimmy first. Place. Does he have haste? No, he doesn't. Oh, but they have to Jimmy still just... wanted to just give me the first place. That way we could have well, kept the. Well, if Shrammy gets to choose, who yeah. place. <laughs> I just, I just cemented myself into second place, basically. So I'm no matter how. I'm gonna tap Crank. Over. Yeah. And gain the 64 that are tapped. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. It would be 66 because this is actually only 62. <laughs> and then. We're gonna go for it. All right, we're going to. I'm gonna pay one for Goblin Strike. So it deals damage equal to the number of goblins I control the target player. So okay. that will be 166 plus. Or sorry, uh, one. I I, calculator again. I I had it. I think it's like <laughs> 160 something, 140 something. I don't know. All right, 66 plus 62 equals 128 plus four. It's 132. That's gonna be 132 damage to you. And then. Oh, you're at 44? Yep. Now you are. Swing out with everything. And he gets plus 2, plus 0 for each other attacking goblin. Um, He's going to be a 129, 2. Holy crap. Coming at you. No trample. Um, there's something. And then all these are coming at you as well. So if there's anything you can do, you would need to block 20. You'd have to block 18. I believe. Which I don't think I can. I, mean, had, I think it's called like the Sabbath or something. It's a one mono white one drop there. that is yeah. fog and prevents all damage. The next I think it's called like block the there. Sabbath or something like that. Actually, it's to say like creatures. we don't we don't yeah, we so worry I'm, about I'm it after Sunday or something. But like that's that's flavor tax or something <laughs> like that. That's funny. Nothing to so, help me. Quinn. Gave me the assist on that one. Holy crap. I had, I had a board wipe, but it's destroy all creatures, power three or greater. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Too bad his goblins aren't buffed. 
Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But, uh... Yikes. So, yeah, Quinn delivered that one to me on a silver platter. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did. GG. All right, that guys. Was good. See me and stuff. Hey guys, here we are. We're at the end cap of tonight's episode, and let's just say um, it was interesting. That's 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 for sure. We had a lot of out of the nowhere, out of the nowhere plays. Yeah, a lot of a lot of crazy turn of events here. Yeah. yeah, Jose was laying the beat down on Corey for yeah. a good majority yeah. of the game. Yeah. I thought I had the game, but you know Quinn came up with an upset. It was a. Uh... Unfortunate. Came up with an upset. I mean, I, I gave Jimmy the game on a silver platter. Yeah. It wasn't for He's me. like, you want to win? Here you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I went from first to third real quick. Yeah. And if you ain't first, you're last. Mm-hmm. But it was a roller coaster of emotion because I was going to kill Jose. And Jose's like, no, no, no. I'm not going to die. I'm going to kill you instead. And yeah. Quinn's like, no, no, no. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. Hold up. <laughs> I was just sitting there and watched the scare be taken out of Scarecrows, and then it was... They were like yeah. the uh, Wizard of Oz scarecrow. Yeah. yeah. It was like yeah. it was like President Trump over here thought he had it. Biden over here comes out of nowhere. And then Kanye <laughs> West comes in to finish it. Yeah, the yeah. one the one percent. Have you guys seen that meme where it was like Kanye West is is like all black and they're like, You gotta reach level twelve to unlock this character. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Uh, but thanks guys thanks for watching and uh go check our deck tech that's gonna drop out pretty soon here too so if you want to see how these work promise you the deck tech will be more exciting for scarecrows than the game was <laughs> all right see you guys, guys. See you guys. <laughs> take care